Global markets had an exceptional start to 2023 on the back of signs that inflation may be moderating. However, most gains were part in February as sticky inflation prints and hawkish central banks remained at the epicenter of global risk sentiment. In March, new risks emerged within the banking sector. Silicon Valley and Signature Bank closed, while Credit Suisse and First Republic experienced capital issues that raised concerns about the state of the industry. The Federal Reserve and other regulators took emergency measures to alleviate immediate concerns and prevent further failures by easing fears. These moves had significant impacts on the implied policy rate priced in by the market. These repricings have created wild swings in the US Treasury market, with Treasuries, traditionally seen as haven assets, experiencing extremely elevated levels of volatility. Despite the roller coaster ride, most asset classes still posted gains for the quarter. With the investment landscape undergoing significant changes, new investment opportunities seem to be appearing in emerging markets, while developed markets continue to face challenges. Both South Africa and broader emerging markets offer attractive value cases. The MSCI Emerging Market Index has recently experienced one of the highest one-year performance disconnects against South African equities. The index is heavily weighted towards China and Taiwan, but it also includes significant exposure to fast-growing markets like India, South Korea and Brazil. We have seen some positive growth numbers printing in our EM Pressing Economic Indicator, a nowcast of growth outlooks for different regions. Given the recent outperformance of South African equities relative, we now hold a strong overweight view on emerging market equities. Our portfolios remain highly liquid and ready to move in either direction in line with an ever-changing environment.